I'm going to explain the theory behind calculating the vector equation of the line. Okay, so in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to work out the vector equation of the line if you're given a fixed point on the line and a vector parallel to your line. Okay, so in this case, let me draw uh, a set of axes, so over here. So if we have a line like so, okay? If we have a fixed point on the line, so A is a fixed point on our line, okay? Which is given by uh, the vector small a, so the position vector of A relative to the origin or respect to the origin is given by the vector small a. Okay, and also if we have a vector parallel to this line, so vector parallel to the line, I'll symbolize it by M. So M is the vector parallel to the line. Okay, now if we also have the position vector of any point P on your line, so P is a, any point on your line, and if the position vector of P relative to O is given by R. So P is a point, any point on your line, and if that is given by the position vector, uh, so if the position vector rather of P relative to O is given by R, okay? So over here, let me show you how to derive uh, the equation for the vector equation of the line in this case. So firstly, work out the vector AP, so the vector AP, so I hope you can see that, that's going to be the vector AO plus the vector OP, okay, so it's AO plus OP. Now the vector OA, or the position vector of A with relative to the origin O, is given by the vector small a. So as a side note, vector OA is small a. So that means that the vector AO is going to be minus of OA. So remember vectors have direction also as well as magnitude. So um, since vector OA is small a, vector AO will be minus of the vector small a. Okay. Now the position vector of P relative to O is R, so that is denoted by R. So uh, let me make a note over here. Position vector of P relative to O, vector OP is small r. Okay, so if I do the replacement of the terms here, we're going to have the vector AP, that is vector AO, which is minus A plus the vector OP which is R. So vector AP in other words is R minus vector A. Okay? Now remember the idea of this vector M. M is a vector parallel to your line and in one of the videos if two ve vectors are parallel, okay, one of the vector it is going to be a scalar of the other, okay? So since this vector M is parallel to the line, so since the line is parallel to the vector M, that implies AP is equal to a scalar, which I'm using lambda, times the vector m. Okay? Now, if you go to the previous step, we know the vector AP and that is r minus a. So, let me replace. So, vector r minus vector a will be lambda m. So, if we rearrange, vector r will be taking the minus a to the other side is a plus lambda m. Okay, so that is the formula to work out the vector equation of the line if you're given a fixed point on your line, okay, and if you're given 
um, a vector parallel to your line. So also remember the idea of P. P is uh, any point on your line and that is given by the vector small r. Okay. So that ends this video. I hope you found this video helpful and uh, in the next video we'll be going through some examples of how this formula here is applied. So I hope to see you then. Thank you.